Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen with a much more in-depth set of details of the anniversary sale and the free flight which appears to include almost every flyable ship for everyone with a Star Citizen account to use for free during the anniversary. So there have been some more details of the free flight event and anniversary from Friday the 23rd of November to December 4th is when the anniversary is running it appears. So the sale starts on the 23rd and there is a free fly event throughout meaning anyone with a Star Citizen account you don't need any ships or a game package you can just play as long as you've got an account you will be able to fly every current flyable ship in game during the anniversary with a different manufacturer each day giving you access to their ships for 24 hours as well as the ability to buy those ships with real monies or store credit if you so choose. It also looks like the Anvil Arrow is already flyable. It's listed for the 23rd on the Friday with the rest of the Anvil ships as flyable and tryoutable for everyone on that date. It should go on sale either on the Thursday the day before or uh, with the start of the anniversary sale. So on the 23rd, you can try out the Arrow, Gladiator, Hornets, Hurricane, Terrapin, and Valkyrie with the Anvil range. On the 24th, you can try out the RSI ships, so the Auroras, Constellations, and Urza Rover. On the 25th, it's the Origin ships, so the 300 series, 600i, 85x, and M50. On the 26th, it's the Aegis Dynamic ships, the Avengers, Eclipse, Gladius, Hammerhead, Reclaimer, Retaliator, Sabres, However, probably not the Raven, as it was not listed. And Vanguards on the 27th is Drake, the Buccaneer, Caterpillar, Cutlass, Dragonfly, and Herald. 28th, the Kartu Al, otherwise known as the Xi'an Scout, the Nox, Glaive, and Blade. On the 29th is Misk. So that is going to be the Freelancer, Prospector, Razors, Reliant, and Starfarers. On the 30th is a collection of the newer or other manufacturers, so uh, Kruger, Argo, Tumbrel, and Consolidated Outland, with the P-52, MPVUs, Cyclones, and Mustangs all being flyable that day. Each of those days, we'll see those ships and vehicles go on sale, along with the rest of the manufacturer's lineup uh, that they've previously had. There will be limited stocks available with RSI, Origin, Aegis, Drake, Misk, and uh, the newer manufacturer ships. So I'm expecting to see things like the Pioneer, the Kraken, the Idris, Javelin, and some of those rarer ships to make an appearance in very limited numbers. According to the Concierge newsletter, from the 1st to the 4th of December, all the ships will be available to purchase that were previously on sale. So you don't have to necessarily purchase on those particular days of the sale. You can purchase at the end of the sale where they're all open up. Obviously, limited stocks um, may be out, so you might uh, be out of luck there. So bear that in mind. Other than the Arrow, we could see the Titan Exosuit, the Drake Corsair, and as someone brought to my attention, a new Xi'an ship that was mentioned in a law post, the San Tok Yai, which is being converted for human use. Um, this is roughly um, translated something like uh, Apex Predator Animal in Xi'an. So I think... We might see a medium or heavy fighter or a fighter bomber, something like that. And the reason I say that is because when they're building out these more uh, these races that we'll probably have conflict or see in the verse, uh, in like things like Squadron 42 especially, they'll probably go through uh, light to heavy fighter range and then a bomber uh, to start the race off and then do their capital ships. Something like that. That's what I foresee. We should be seeing some uh, other videos coming online that week as well, uh, along with those uh, sales so we might see some ship manufacturer stuff might see some short little videos going through some of the uh, lineups we've had the the galactic gear previously and we might have some more in-depth details of ships that cig are creating and the progress that they've made with them stuff like that cig did also say there may be some surprises in store for those of you that make the trek out to hurston and see what lawville is all about as well as some fun interactive activities on the website as well so stay tuned for that it does look like they are aiming for a 3.35 live build for the 23rd, at least uh, that's what it looks like at the moment, or at the very least there will be a PTU for everyone by that date. But tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you looking to pick up any ships? Are you looking forward to being able to try all the ships for free? Uh, do you not have Star Citizen yet and you're going to grab an account and then 
uh, see if you, you think it's any good. Uh, have you got friends that you want to show the game to? Or do you not think it's ready yet? Do you think it's more of a, a tech demo and you're going to wait a little longer before you check it out? Whatever your thoughts, please tell me in the comments below. If you don't have Star Citizen yet, be sure to create an account with the links below to receive 5,000 UEC, the in-game currency, as a bonus and to participate in any free flight. Every month we have a ship giveaway for November. I am giving away a Saber Raven, Star Citizen game package, and a CitizenCon 2948 digital goodies pack. All you need to do to be in for a chance of winning is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and comment on any of my videos made during the month. More details below. If you would like to further support the channel, the links to my Patreon and donations are down in the description below as well. If you are considering getting or upgrading your gaming PC for Star Citizen or any other game for that matter, instead consider the Shadow Cloud Gaming Service. It's a subscription-based service that leverages your internet connection to turn any appropriate device, whether it be an old PC, smartphone, tablet, and more into a powerful Windows 10 gaming PC. It's been working well in the latest 3.3.0 PTU patch of Star Citizen. I'm gonna try and maintain a best practices guide on my website as well. More information is available in the links below, and if you do decide to try it, use the code BOARDGAMER to get a discount. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the verse.